Hey guys, this is Jan Balakan of MobileTechPanai.com coming to you in 2020 with a brand new look. Hope you guys like it. Anyway, like most of you, those Lazada sales every month can be pretty difficult to pass up and I've had a keyboard that I've been eyeing for the last couple of months now, uh, not just because it's an inexpensive standard full layout keyboard, uh, which it is, uh, but because it has one neat feature, which I'll talk to you about in a bit. Now, I was coming from an, another inexpensive Ajaz 82 key mechanical keyboard. Uh, nothing wrong with it at all, really. But for work and editing, I really feel like I need the full 104 key layout. Now, even though the Ajaz keyboard was more Instagrammable, especially after having switched it to typewriter keycaps, I definitely feel like I needed a new full layout keyboard. So after searching high and low for a nice budget mechanical keyboard, I chanced upon the Aula F2088, which didn't just come with neat RGB lighting, but a sweet dual purpose control. And that knob is basically what convinced me to get this keyboard. Now, this being an RGB keyboard, it's going to come with a number of lighting effects. Most of the keyboards will make you use a combination of keys on the keyboard. There might be a hidden switch, or you might have to tinker around with the software a bit to get the lighting effect that you want. But what the Aula F2088 does is let you cycle through all 22 of the lighting effects just by pressing the knob. Pretty cool. So another thing the knob does is control the brightness of the keyboard's backlight, and it can get pretty bright, mind you. Now, I got the steampunk version with the shiny key, so it really doesn't need to be that bright. My preference was just to uh, dial it a couple of clicks from being completely off, so I have a bit of illumination in the dark. Next to the knob are a bunch of dual purpose buttons. Their first function is to serve as programmable lighting presets. Basically, you can set your keys to light up or not, and then save that profile into any one of those buttons. It's pretty neat because, uh, for example, with someone like me, uh, I can set one profile for work, another for gaming, and another for editing, lighting only the keys that I use the most. Now, I did say that the knob and the set of buttons here were dual purpose. So aside from cycling through the lighting modes, they also serve as media buttons. The knob lets you control the volume from one spot, while the three programmable buttons now allow you to play, a pause, or move to the next or previous track. So basically, they control playback. For me, the central knob has actually been the best feature because I'll often switch between speakers and headsets depending on whether I'm playing games or watching a movie or editing videos. So basically having one knob control all of that is basically a game changer for me. Now it seems like a simple thing, but it's really a convenient feature to have. Now the final thoughtful touch is a detachable wrist rest that you can easily snap on using magnets. Of course, you can totally go without it and basically save some desktop space, but it is a nice feature to have. Now, it isn't perfect. I haven't tried uh, out its software yet because it's in Chinese, but as it is, uh, there doesn't seem to be a way to assign specific colors to certain keys. Also, the build isn't that bad, but there is a bit of flex to it. Still, I am one satisfied customer. So if you're looking for a feature-packed gaming keyboard with RGB lighting effects, the Aula F2088 could be the one for you. So I hope you're liking this new format. If you're one of my 700 or so subscribers, you'll know that I've been experimenting this year uh, a little bit more. So I really would appreciate your comments below. Uh, speaking of which, let me read some comments from one of my recent reviews, the Trey Mobile Flare S8. So one guy says, great review. Uh, keep it up, sir. Got yourself a new sub. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. Another one says, nice review, sir. The tone and voice is lit. Keep it up. Thank you so much. Another one says, thanks. This is a very good option for another phone. Uh, yeah, I bought. And then someone else says, I bought also the Flare S8 and it's so amazing, affordable and smooth for games, fast charge. Yeah, it really is an affordable phone with bang for buck performance. Of course, it isn't perfect, especially at that price point, 3,999 pesos, but still a really good option for you guys. 
someone says great video quality, edits, and generally good content, uh, keep up the great work. Uh, thank you so much for noticing that. And I believe this guy is sub now, so uh, I guess really hoping you guys appreciate the effort that's going into the videos these days. Uh, someone else says, Train Mobile Flare S8 Pro naman po sana sir. But review sana kung okay lang po yun kasi inaantay ko. That is the next uh, review that is going to come out soon. Hope you guys keep subscribed. Someone says he is the 699th sub. Yeah, that's a bit of a magic number. I actually appreciate this one more than the 700th sub. Okay, just kidding, but yeah. And next among pops, S8 Max ng Cherry. Yeah, I hope I am able to get my hands on that one. Uh, another one says Flare S8 Max, please. Uh, yes, really hoping on that one. And finally, make a review on the S8 Pro as well, sir. Thanks. So, well, that video is going to come out soon. And I hope you guys have subscribed already because when that video does come out, I'm going to be having a uh, giveaway on that one. So, stay tuned on that one. All right, so glad to be reading through your comments. Uh, I really do appreciate the feedback and really hoping for more success for this channel uh, this 2020. So uh, this has been J.M. Balakano of MobileTechPanoid.com. I'll see you guys in the next one.